Hi everyone again. Alpha and uh, Arif. I am Anna. Hello. Hi. So now um, we are going to discuss about this uh, issue, uh, this worldwide issue, animal extinction. So guys, uh, what do you know about animal extinction at Malaysia? So far, we know that the Harimau Malaya mm -mm. Is, is currently known to be in danger at the moment. Mm -mm. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, the rhinoceros, Padok uh, Sumbu Sumatra, has already extinct, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Yeah, last year. Oh, it, it, it's still in danger or extinct, Alpha? Extinct. Ah, uh, yeah. Extinct already? Extinct already? Yeah. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, I think I saw a news about uh, the last male that. What, rhino? Yeah. Oh. Uh, due to illegal poaching? Illegal hunting? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I'm not sure about that. I think, the quote on this, I think it was because of sickness. Yeah. Oh, sickness, okay. Yes, if sickness, okay, that's fine, but if it's. Illegal hunting, yeah, that's bad news. But yeah, one one of uh, Malaysia's most treasured animal. Has been so that one, so that's we can consider that animal extinction is really a critical issue, isn't it? Yes. yes definitely. So you know what? I found this one website. Um, so not only um, wait, I am sharing you the screen. Okay. So not only Malaysia, not only what um tiger, uh, we have this one, you know. On the tiger, yeah, yeah, we have so many animals at Malaysia, okay, that's going to be extinct or now actually endangered lah, okay, uh, categorized as endangered species. So we have mm -hmm. tiger, and now we yeah. have a black shrew. Do you know this one? Black shrew? So cute. Yeah. No, never heard of it. Yeah, Is it animal. like a wild mouse? Animal. So you see here, only was recorded near Mount Kinabalu might already be extinct. So this one is a really ah. critical species, I believe. Oh, bummer. Malayan tapir. Oh, tapir. Yeah, or elephant. Oh. Elephant is really elephant. famous at Thailand, Malaysia as well. So this one yep. uh, considered as... Um, uh, endangered species as well. So, ha, huh, hmm. monkey, proboscis, proboscis monkey. Yeah. I don't know this, but I know monkey, but proboscis monkey is not familiar to me. So, obviously, here in this website, then mentioned hmm. as one of the endangered species. Sunda pangolin. Uh, yeah. It's like an armadillo. This is like our knowledge, okay? that this yeah. is really a critical issue. I think not only mm -hmm. Malaysia, not our local, but all, uh, but this issue is going to be highlighted worldwide. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me close with this one. Okay, so for today then, uh, we are going to discuss specifically about whales extinction. So whales extinction uh, happened to many countries. So countries like uh, uh, U.S. Uh, like uh, Japan. Japan, yeah. So this uh, issue will extinctions really hit? Okay, the story it yeah. okay, becomes the headlines at uh, Japan. Why? Because people there. Um, wait, yeah. Um, what's being done to these whales? Actually, uh, people's they um uh. Involved with the commercial fishing. Uh, commercial fishes, they hunt almost to this um, whales, almost to 2,000 whales a year. So they That's hunt, yeah, they hunt these whales and they kill these whales. So that one is, I think, not really considered acting. Another activity is done to this endangered species whales is shipping activity. So the shipping activity, like oil and gas development, actually can disrupt these uh, populations of whale, where the whales can have uh, hearing problems, and then they will have a critical feeding and breeding. Uh, so another one, maybe you two, you would like to know about the threats um, happened uh, is about entanglement. 
um, the whales um, uh, committed in commercial fishing gear. Okay, so I don't know this one. I think this one is not familiar to me as well to talk about. So maybe we, after this we can discuss more about this threat. Okay, Alpha and um, Arif. So to see about this uh, threats uh, and to talk about this um, endangered species, what we actually as individual we have so many actions, we have so many ways to do or to take as individually. Do you believe on that, Arif? Yes, no, I do huh? believe on that. Yeah, maybe you have uh, some ideas that what we as individual then can do or uh, to protect this endangered species. Mm. Alpha or Arif, or maybe you want to start first. Alpha, would you like to start yeah. first? Uh, sure, uh, I don't mind. So for me as an individual, okay, here's the thing. Individual are a part of society. This society is a part of a bigger and larger group. So I believe that every individual plays an important role, no matter how small your action may be. So for me, I would stop personally and individually, I would stop the demand and also buying of wheels. Because when there's demand, they are going to catch more wheels. And funny because some people think that uh, wheels or maybe shark fins, for example, that they can actually be a cure or a remedy for certain sickness. But you know, we are living in the 21st century, going into the 22nd century, and there are a lot of medications out there. People nowadays can even make like a heart cell out of leaves. So it is quite, it's almost impossible for you not to find a medication that can help you with your health-related problem. So we don't really need to go back to the old and traditional ways where we drink shark fin or whale soup to even cure your sickness so you know, once you once we have gotten over that mindset that maybe uh, these endangered animals can fix our daily life problems that can be fixed in other ways then once we've got rid of the stigma and we stop demanding whales and buying whales then maybe the production of whales can continue because they're we as humans do not we no longer be hunting them yeah, I agree with you. Not to buy the whales or not to not to give the higher demands to these whales may protect this endangered species. Like a, what to relate to Malaysia, for example, we have turtles, right? This protected animals then. So the government then asked people then to stop the demand. Okay, to stop not to buy the whales. So, uh, no, sorry, stop not to buy the turtles, uh, the eggs. So I think that one is a, a very good, a very, a very what uh, every people that should aware about this responsibility. Please stop the demand. Don't buy, don't support the hunters. Yeah. And for me, I think, uh, I think as individual as well, what we can do not to buy the whales product, but we also can join the society just to give supports, uh, just to give, just to contribute something, okay, towards the, this, um, protected animals so uh, when we join the society our awareness becomes higher and then we uh, we also we can spread the info to the people outside okay that this whales for example is a very protected one so don't touch don't hunt don't do anything ha anything bad to this so that we can spread we can uh, we can what educate people when we join the society just because of you have um, direct info we have been educated okay to be or to join into this society isn't it and uh, maybe when we join the society as well we can uh, donate okay we can uh, give some money or maybe we can uh, give our energy okay we can support them by you know by join the, the activities so i think this kind of uh, awareness is really important for us because we as individual, then we can pay a lot of uh, ways, actually, to protect this endangered species. If I what may add, Anna, uh -uh. I do believe in the joining society part because you know, nowadays we see a lot of society or what do you call it, um, 
Like, can I say a riot where people gather and say, like, for example, uh, stop using straws to uh-huh. save the turtles, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are all environmental acts and it did help to change the world. Because we society, as, as I said earlier, we stopped the demand, but now we demand something. Even big companies like Starbucks or even Tea Life, they started they using... Yeah. Uh, they started using paper straws to actually help, right? So I feel like when you join a society, you make a demand about it. The media, the media will hear us, definitely, yeah. Yes. I think the individual voice is really gives back impact to the whole society, to the whole citizens. When you pay your own individual responsibility, it will go to each individual and afterwards then every society then will open their eyes that using the straw, for example, is not good. It, it may ha- harm the animals. Yeah. How about you, Arif? Do you have anything to say? Uh, to share? Um, in my opinion, that uh, like <clears throat> Stanley once said, I guess uh, he said, and I quote, I guess one person can make a difference. So like Alpha said, uh, it is our job as, as individuals, individually to start making uh, or starting a movement on preventing these demands, such as uh, demands on whale from ever I would say ever increasing, but it all goes back to if we talk about the country, it all goes back to the government because sometimes we, as the citizen, the society of our fine country, we we have our opinions and we have like the rights to voice out our opinions on what is right and what is wrong. Like for example, if um, let's say the save the turtles, for example. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this topic has been very popular back then, but people just uh, didn't pay enough attention, especially since, like the government, because they say, uh, the, uh, the turtles doesn't need that, uh, not all turtles, like that. and then when it happened to them, and they started, okay, turtles are starting to extinct, so we have to do something, so people start voicing out like in a form of survey, like nowadays people uh, can easily create online surveys just by uh, voting it and then uh, spread the words around. Then when the numbers started uh, rising or skyrocketing, maybe, just maybe, the government will pay a little attention or pay uh, a lot of attention because sometimes uh, it takes something uh, that uh, contains a large number of people supporting just for the government to prioritize prioritize what's important because most of most of uh most of the time not just government but also people nowadays they tend to favor fortune more than the values of uh, uh other living uh, living beings life because they think that money is everything money is basically heaven for them and other uh, other living beings such as animals extinct animals or whatnot are just basically uh are destined to become their source of source of revenue for them where in fact on the other hand it's it's apparently not the animals are just the same as us the human beings only the difference is we have minds and brains they only have brains but they don't have mind that's what makes us different from the animal so if we were if we are not uh, taking actions or being responsible now then we're no different than the animals yeah I agree with you that overall then people like uh, who involved with this uh, will hunting they individually they need to be aware of this and uh, they need to stop immediately okay hunting the whales J- uh, for the fact um for the fact japan has killed more than thirteen thousand whales in the past 30 years so i think this thirteen thousand whales is a very big scale okay so we are afraid that we have um, we lost uh, this population in the future. And you know what? Uh, for the fact uh, that Ireland also committed uh, involved with this uh, hunting. So Ireland, uh, Iceland, they opened, uh, killed uh, the whales just because they want to sell the meat. You see, yeah. they want to sell the meat. I think for individual part, as the hunters, for example, Okay, they need to open their mind that not only whales then they can uh, sell, but also they can um, sell to uh, you know to the other to the other things to the other animals. Like you know, you we have so many animals living in our 
uh, world like um, not only whales so why must you go and hunt whale just because if you want to sell the meat i think that's doesn't make sense you have more reasons to go to uh, hunt and to you know to kill the whales right alpha um yes. Definitely, definitely, uh, definitely what you're saying, madam, because I believe that there are more than one ways on how you can earn money. Yeah. So. And if I may add, madam, uh, let's take a look at what's happening now, the pandemic crisis with this coronavirus. And it's all, if we take a look back from the sources, it's because of people who are perhaps maybe obsessed with money and they're obsessed with for example, maybe whale is considered as exotic food because its meat is very expensive. And look what happened when people started consuming bats. Mm -mm. The virus tends to spread and then we are all in a lockdown. Yeah. The whole world is in crisis. So technically speaking, some we can I think we can find other beneficial animals or creatures to be uh, to be served as our natural source of energy or whatnot. I mean Besides bats or uh, whales bat or whatnot, we can just be like simple yeah. meat. Bat actions will always cause bad, uh, you know, will always cause Education. harm to people. Bad actors, yeah. I think, or uh, bad activities. So I don't think that hunting whales is good. I think yes. no reason to say that hunting whales is good. So Alpha and uh, Arif, um, we have come to the conclusion now so uh, for my part i don't know whether you agree to this or not but as individually then others then we join the society we stop the demand and then we stop uh, hunting the whales maybe we can also do report okay if you have um, if you are um, a good people i think okay and you love fam uh, animal and you want to live with animals okay in the future so i think it's better for you to do report whatever activities or illegal activities then in front uh, of you you have witnessed okay so uh, go and do report lodge the report immediately i think that is a very minimal actions we can do as individual do you agree with me Yes, 100% agree. Do you have anything else to add, Arif and Alpha, before we leave? Uh, for me, well, that would be was all explained uh, very well. Yeah. Yeah, likewise. Okay. So, thanks uh, for the discussion. See you again. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Farewell. Oh,